it's Philippa from We Are Twin Set. Thank you so much for logging back on. Today I'm going to show you and talk you through some of the pieces that I've been buying recently. I normally kind of do this probably earlier on in the season, usually around beginning of October. I usually kind of do a bit of online shopping, trawl through the high street shops and find my best knitwear pieces. But I guess because it actually didn't get that cold until only a couple of weeks ago, we're now, what is it, like the beginning of November, and I've only just the other day done this kind of shop, which is just so weird for, you know, living in London to only be doing my proper autumn shop now. But anyway, the other day I had the afternoon off, Alfie was with my mum, and so I spent the whole afternoon here just going through my favourite high street shops that I always go to for knitwear. And knitwear is just, the high street just do it so well. I guess over the years of maybe being a stylist and also kind of just kind of understanding my body a little bit better, there's definitely key styles that I look for that I know that my eye is just more drawn towards, that I know are gonna suit my figure better. Because I'm larger busted, I don't really like knits that are too boxy and cropped because I find that they just make me just look way too square. So although I'm wearing this, I've worn this a few times actually, this is from um, ASOS Designs collection which I bought, when did I buy this? I bought this before I went away with um, my family a couple of weeks ago. It is slightly cropped but because it's not really thick and it tucks in quite nicely to my jeans because it's got that shorter shape, it is a lot more flattering for my figure. I tend to also search for keywords and I always find that's a lot easier when I'm doing online shopping. because I find that when you, for instance, ASOS, ASOS is amazing, but it can be really overwhelming, especially if you don't know what you're looking for. So I always find that if I often am looking for a grey knit, and you kind of, if you search that in, in the search um, bar, it's a lot easier, it's more edited. Online shopping can be a minefield. I personally don't have the luxury of time of shop going shopping for a whole afternoon on my own anymore, because if I've got an afternoon without Alfie, I'm either working or I'm doing life admin, so I very rarely have the chance of just, you know, going to the shops and, you know, buying a new pair of jeans or buying new knitwear or new coat, and I tend to just do everything either if I've got an afternoon off or on an evening after dinner, and it is a lot easier, but it also can be quite stressful if you don't know what you're searching for. So I always find that if I know I want, say, like a chunky knit from ASOS, or if I want a grey knit, or if I want a striped knit, if you kind of put in those key words, it's a lot easier to come up with an edited selection for you to go through. So as I was saying, I hope that you find that our blog is really like a simplify. We kind of take the hard work out for you you because we're so aware that I mean we don't have the time to do shopping and go through websites for hours and hours on end it's a luxury to have that time so with our blog and with our Instagram and now with YouTube we hope that seeing our top edits of everything hopefully just makes life that much easier for you to go shopping and enjoy the experience as well because that's what it's all about you've got to enjoy it so if you checked out our blog a few weeks ago, I did a post on high street knitwear. I think, I, yes, I called it knitwear on a budget. But while I was getting that blog post ready, of course I was doing a little bit of shopping for myself. And so I thought I would show you guys everything that I found, how I found it, because that's also the key. It's like, you can have the eye, you can know what you want, but actually finding it online, and also everything looks so different online until you get it home, like colours, the fit and everything. So I'm just gonna show you how I kind of search for everything, and I'll show you what's arrived. So for knitwear, high street knitwear, I always tend to go and look for, usually first of all I look on ASOS, and then Topshop, I really love Bowden knitwear. I'm sure you've seen on Instagram at the moment, I've been wearing a lot of Bowden knitwear. Warehouse also have some really great pieces and they also have lovely cashmere, which I bought, which I will show you. Um, M&S also do great um, knitwear, pieces that you wouldn't really expect to find in M&S, which is always really nice. If you've followed me for a while, and especially on YouTube, you'll know that I love the White Company, and I wouldn't call them um, high street prices, but the thing with the White Company is you know what you're going to get with them. You know that you are going to buy something 
that may be slightly over a hundred pounds if you're going for cashmere. I think their um, kind of standard knitwear is definitely less than a hundred pounds. So in the mix of having my great high street pieces, I do like to have the odd white company special knit that's not like 300 pounds, it's maybe 120 pounds so I can justify it and I know that it will see me through the whole season. The big trend for knitwear at the moment, I've seen a lot of them in the high street and I've bought a few from Bowdoin, you would have seen on Instagram in the last few weeks. Oatmeal kind of creamy knit seem to really be having a moment. I personally love a grey knit dark grey, mid grey, light grey. I love, love, love a grey knit and I've got so many in my wardrobe already and I seem, every winter I seem to want to buy a new one, but creamy kind of um, off-white oat mills are really definitely having a moment. I found on Warehouse, I mentioned before, they have some really lovely cashmere pieces. Um, and I had, this is cashmere, so I knew I didn't want a black cashmere, but they had a really lovely red cashmere knit which I've ordered. The greatest thing about ordering online is that it's just so easy to send back. It caught my eye and I thought I'm gonna give it a go. If I don't like it, if it's not the right shade of red when I get it home, if it doesn't fit nicely, or if I think I'm not gonna wear a red cashmere knit, I can just take it back. I spend my life at the post office. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's just so easy to kind of just be a bit more at ease. It takes the pressure off as well. I also much prefer trying things at home than I do in a changing room because the lighting, the mirrors, they all just, they don't tell the truth. And you get them home, you're like, I just did not look like this in the shop. So I often find that I prefer to buy maybe a few extra items that I wouldn't necessarily have bought if I was in the shop, but it's good to have them also maybe a few different sizes, especially with knitwear. Certain styles look better slightly slimmer, but a lot of them definitely look better oversized. Okay, so I'm just gonna take you upstairs to my bedroom because all the um, knitwear bits arrived yesterday morning and I've laid it all out on my bed. I just find that so much easier. I have ordered a few maybe unnecessary bits and also different sizes of things. So I find it a lot easier to just lay it all out on my bed, see what there is to try on. And then if there's anything that's arrived that's not the right color, or if I take it out of the packet and I can see the size 12 is perfect or whatever size it is, I don't need to try on the other size. Um, so it's a lot easier just to lay it all out and see it all together. So as you can see, I've laid everything out, but I've got to be honest, there was there was quite a lot and a few different sizes of pretty much everything. I don't know, what, I think I was just like going a bit crazy. Maybe I had too much time on my hands. I'm not used to it. Everything kind of looks good. I'm quite excited to try everything on. The red cashmere is actually a little bit more orange than I thought. But saying that, I still like it, so I'm still gonna try it on. There was actually, I'm gonna show you, I ordered, while I was on ASOS, I ordered a pair of, I actually ordered a scarf, a hat and a gloves, because I was having a look at my um, accessories from last year and they all look a bit finished now. So they had a few nice things, I'll show you, but these arrived, I'm not sure if you can see, they've got a little bit of glitter on them. Um, I'm not saying anything against glitter, but I'm just not sure if I, um, well, I'm not sure if I'm up for glitter mittens, so um, they will be going back, unfortunately. Just to show you the other accessory bits I got from ASOS, this cute little stripy little beanie, which I think is really cute, so I'm gonna keep hold of that one. And also I saw they had this lovely thick, I really like scarves, I don't like little thin scarves. If it's a scarf, it's gotta be really thick and it's gotta wrap me around like a 100 times. And I saw this, in ASOS, kind of, I like the tone of it, um, the houndstooth print. Obviously I was thinking maybe with a really simple khaki coat or a grey coat, it kind of would just bump up the look a little bit. I've got my lovely white company bits over there that just come, the packaging is so lovely. So before you even open up what you've got, the experience of opening the box, I'm gonna show you actually so you can see what I'm talking about. Opening up the box and seeing that really lovely design, everything's just put in really beautifully. So it just begins the whole experience really nicely. I already feel like I want to keep hold of everything. I've got three items in there and I'm definitely not gonna keep three. I will keep one, so I'll try them on and see which is my favorite. Okay, so that's everything that I've ordered bar a few pieces that you just didn't really need to see they were unnecessary and I'm gonna take them back anyway I'm gonna um, try everything on see it how it all fits I want you guys to see it all too so um, 
come with me and I'll try it all on. So you know when you just know, you know like, I don't know, well, when I tried on my wedding dress, I just knew that that was the dress. And often when I try on things, you put them on and it's that instant like, Yes, this is the jumper I have been looking for. It feels so soft. I've actually just looked and I, I'm taking after my mum a little bit here now. She can't bear to wear anything wool. And I used to laugh at her so much and be like, why, like, you're so silly, like, just wear it. But now, as I'm getting older, I can see what she means. And wool, it does scratch and it does itch. Whereas this, I have looked, it is 95% acrylic. Um, I guess some of you will see that as probably a good thing or a bad thing, but it does make it soft and um, so I'm quite happy about that. And it was, I think it's about 30 pounds this, but it just, it just does the trick. It ticks all the boxes that I need in a chunky knit and it's that lovely kind of graphite -y, deep dark grey which I love. This, I'm not gonna lie, this is quite high, but I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing really high roll necks yet. Um, in a couple of more months, I'll probably just be living in these things, but I think it just needs, uh, that already feels a bit better. It just needs loosening up a little bit, maybe a wash or two. It's a good length actually, and I was talking about sizes before because this is a size eight. So that's a prime example of some knitwear pieces you need to size up or size down. So a shape like this, which is already oversized, definitely size down. So in knitwear, I would usually opt for a size 10, whereas this I've gone for an eight. And look, you can see it's got a lot of space in it. Okay, so this is another Topshop knit that I ordered. I have to say it's a little bit itchier than the other one. I think it's got about 20% um, polyester. So maybe that's what's making it itch slightly it's not too terrible um it's definitely wearable and obviously in the winter i would layer it with a t-shirt but i really like it and again it's that lovely oatmeal colorway which is really on trend at the moment and i don't know if you can see i've got my little aa um necklace here and this kind of colorway looks really nice um, styled up with gold accessories. It just makes it look really expensive and super luxe. So I've put on my lovely Gucci belt here just so you can see how I would wear it. So as you can see, it's quite long, but I've just made it look quite relaxed like that, tucked it into my jeans and my belt like that. This shape here, although it's got the stripes kind of going horizontal, which technically I wouldn't say would be something I would wear just because of my figure, I think because it's quite oversized here and it's got this nice draping effect it actually is really flattering for me and I feel comfortable that I feel like the more fabric in the right places actually works wonders rather than going against you I understand if people don't like to have too much fabric here but I think when the fabric comes here and it just drapes over nicely it works really well I just really like the color of this I think it's a really nice update um, for all the knits in my wardrobe. It's slightly different, obviously, to the greys that I usually go for. And if I don't wanna wear something black and I wanna kind of mix up, mix down, give a contrasting look to my black jeans, it's a really nice option. So I've got the Warehouse Cashmere Knit and I've just double checked on the label and it's 100% cashmere. And I can tell you ladies, it is really, really soft, but it's not, sometimes with cashmere knits, I find them really, although they're soft, they can be quite, stiff in the shape if that makes sense whereas this as you can see it's really loose but unfortunately I think I'm gonna have to send it back because it's just too big I ordered a size 12 I don't know if that was because they only had a size 12 left or because I thought it would be better oversized but I think it just it doesn't really work I prefer to have it tucked in like that and I just think it's a little bit too much fabric there. It's nice, but I think I'm gonna send it back. It was 110 pounds, and I think if I'm not loving it straight away, I think for that price, um, it's gotta go back. So this, on the other hand, is definitely staying with me. This is another jumper that I ordered from Warehouse. 
their cut, which I actually found on ASOS, but they um, it was out of stock. So I went straight through to Warehouse to look to see if they had it. And they still did. It's just over £40, so it's not the cheapest considering it's not wool. But it does feel like a good shape. I love the colour, the khaki. I actually don't own a khaki knit. And it's a really great update for me. And I really like the combination with all my gold kind of detailing. It really just, the same as I said with the oatmeal knit, it just lucks up the look and just makes it all look really expensive. Um, so you can see the shape here. It's a similar shape to the Topshop one, but it's got this nice funnel neck, which I like. I think I actually prefer this funnel shape compared to the really thick, chunky knits. Um, maybe like the Topshop gunmetal knit that I showed you before. But I guess as it gets colder, you want as much fabric around you as possible. Whereas this, I think, will be easier to wear with a coat over the top, whereas the grey Topshop one might be all a bit too much fabric going on top. So yeah, you can just tell from the different sizes. So the red jumper that I just showed you was a size 12 and it was way too big, but it was the style that just didn't suit being that oversized shape. Whereas this is also a size 12, but it just works being that almost don't want this shape to be slim fitting. You want the extra fabric. It's not so long. So you can take the width here and just, I find it always really flattering to half tuck it in and then just let all the draping do its work here. So I've just been trying on the jumpers that I bought from Nasty Gal. So I bought this long maxi cardigan, which I really, really, really like. Um, and I also bought the similar one, but thinner in gray and another knit, but the knit just didn't look right for me. It drooped too much on my shoulders. It wasn't flattering. And out of the two maxi cardigans, I much prefer, they call this mocha, which is really lovely. It works well. I think it works well with most um, kind of skin types and hair colors. It just, it looks like a hug doesn't it? Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. As I said earlier, I lived in Nasty Gal dress dresses all summer long. So yeah, I'm really happy to see that their autumn winter collection is also really great. So just so you can see um, and work out sizing, this is a size small to medium. So it does come up large and oversized. I would actually even say this is slightly too big for me, but it comes small, medium and medium and large just so you can kind of work out and gauge for yourself. So this is another item I've tried on and I'm like, yes to this knit. It is everything I've been missing in my wardrobe. So this is the White Company um, and I ordered three things from the White Company. I ordered this, which I knew I was gonna love from the minute I ordered it. Um, a plain black cashmere, which I haven't even tried on because I thought it was silly me even buying it last week since I've got the ASOS cashmere which just does the trick. I don't need two black cashmeres in my wardrobe this season. And I ordered, they had a nice dark gray maxi cardigan but I decided against it because I've obviously, I'm gonna keep the Nasty Gal one that I just showed you. And I also do have, which you've seen on Instagram a few times, the Misha Lounge uh, maxi cardi which does the trick again and I just don't need to spend the extra money on that from the white company but saying that this this is something a little bit special it's that lovely pebble gray that the white company do so well if you can see on my bed linen there i am just totally obsessed with all things the white company it's like picking the right gray for your walls so many people actually ask me which gray i go for and it just goes to show that grays are tricky you kind of there are all different shades all different tones but the white company have just got it so so spot on with this one so i absolutely love this but i think again i've ordered the wrong size. I had a really similar one last winter. A similar shape, it just didn't have the side stripe down the side. Um, it was plain black and I lived in it the whole winter, every single weekend, just with a pair of side stripe joggers or leggings. I um, mean, it was my weekend go-to. So yeah, this season they've updated it with the nice side stripes. They come in a few different colours, but I really like, obviously, me being me, really like the tonal black and the grey. I think there was a yellow stripe or a 
red stripe maybe um but i love this but i've ordered it in a size medium and i actually think i could do with a size large the medium works really well with these side stripe joggers but if i was to wear it with leggings it would be too short you want it to hit here rather than there with leggings this is just such a me outfit when i'm with alfie during the week if i'm not working and i'm taking him to soft play or sensory groups or just seeing some friends for a walk in the park this is just my go-to outfit. Okay, I am absolutely converted. It's actually really annoying that it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in real life, but this sweater knitted dress is the dream. It's from ASOS, but it's the brand Selected Femme. Um, and I just think it's going to be a really good option for me in the next few months when it starts to get really cold. I need to do, go out on work appointments. Um, it's just nice if I don't want to wear jeans or trousers to wear a dress but also stay nice, snug and warm in it. I've styled it up with these office over the knee boots um that i bought last year they've gone in sale this year but i think they've now actually sold out um but yeah it <laughs> i know it looks really oversized and freaky in the photo in the film here but actually in real life it does look really really nice and sophisticated so i went for a size medium in this i'm gonna have a look online to see if it's still available because if they do have the small i might um, exchange it because I liked the idea of it being oversized I think that's the whole look you kind of have it oversized with the um, long boots but I think it possibly could be you know that I think that looks so much better if it was like that so if they do have the small I think I'm going to um, try and exchange it how nice does this coat look on top it just brings the whole look together so now you can see it as I said if I'm heading out on work appointments going in meetings when it starts to get really cold and I kind of don't want to wear the same outfit every day it's nice to have these things in your wardrobe that can freshen up update your outfits um so yeah I'm just hoping that they've got this in the smaller size because I'm really enjoying this look. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope maybe I've inspired you to do a bit of online knitwear shopping. That's all from me for now. Just wanna say if you enjoyed that, I'd love you to give me a little thumbs up just below. And also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can just stay up to date with all of our latest content. And yeah, so have a lovely evening and a great week and I'll see you next Sunday at 7.30.